Did you know that over 7 million people die prematurely every year because of breathing polluted air? Air pollution caused by burning fossil fuels is a main cause of not only human deaths, but also climate change. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, CO2 emissions from fossil fuels, which constitute 85% of our energy use, must be reduced to zero by 2100. Many people think climate change mainly means warmer temperatures. But temperature rise is only the beginning of the story. Because the Earth is a system, where everything is connected, changes in one area can influence changes in all others. The consequences of climate change now include, among others, intense droughts, water scarcity, severe fires, rising sea levels, flooding, melting polar ice, catastrophic storms and declining biodiversity. So, what do we do? There is no one-size-fits-all approach to stopping or slowing global warming, and each individual, business, municipal, state, tribal, and federal entity must weigh their options in light of their own unique set of circumstances. Where practicable, we can counterbalance our annual carbon dioxide emissions by investing in commercial services that draw down an equal amount of carbon out of the atmosphere, such as through planting trees or carbon capture and storage techniques. CCS, which has the potential to capture half the world's CO2 emission. And, here is how it works. Most of these emissions comes from power plant, heavy industries, and refineries, the largest emitter of CO2. CCS can capture at least 90% of these CO2 emissions before it's transported in liquid form by pipeline or ship and stored safely and permanently far below the Earth's surface. This process simply imitates how nature store oil, gas, and CO2 for millions of years. But CCS must be deployed rapidly and widely or we won't reduce our emissions on time. The US government's net zero carbon plan calls for 500 million metric tons of CO2 removal by 2050, up from zero today. If the world is to meet the Paris Convention target of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees, 3.8 billion tons of global carbon removal has to be achieved annually. And, we are not doing enough as the current total amount of permanent carbon removal remains at 2 million tons per year. Recently, major private companies including Stripe, Meta, Alphabet, McKinsey, Microsoft and more have made commitments to purchase carbon dioxide removal as part of their corporate social responsibility plans. So, is carbon capture the real big solution for solving climate change or another excuse for governments to avoid closing down consumption of fossil fuels, is anybody's guess. As seen from the carbon capture S-curve, CCS is not a new technology but exists since 1930s and has undergone technological advancements from using chemical solvents for gas absorption in early years to physical solvents until mid-1960s to use a dehydration process with gas separation membranes for hydrogen and nitrogen until late 1990s. Beginning of 2000 saw emergence of CDR or carbon dioxide removal technologies with sequestration i.e. direct capture from atmosphere and indirect capture, however as evident from data shown previously, only 0.05% of CDR is performed annually which is insignificant. Businesses, especially the large and mid-caps will need to lead the CDR adoption and financing need to be redefined for sustainable business. Carbon Capture Utilization CCU, is the tip of another S-curve in the carbon capture storage and the incentive for a lot of businesses interested in material science to join hands. CCS and CCU and the companies operating in this space follow radical innovation with technological breakthroughs as seen in the S-curve journey. This technology is only at the cusp of many major advancements the generation has to see and poise a plethora of exciting opportunities for ESG investment and maximizing the shareholder gains through radical innovation. So, what's the resolution? Well, some of these CO2 emissions could actually be put to good use. Carbon Capture and Utilization, or CCU, as opposed to CCS, refers to the technologies that capture CO2 emissions and utilize them in the production of new materials and fuels. CCU technologies might reduce the utilization of fossil raw materials and improve the CO2 balance of everyday products. This innovative technologies imitate the natural carbon cycle and are the subject of intense scientific and business interest. In CCS, carbon dioxide is directly captured from gases emitted by power plants and industrial facilities. It is also a byproduct of the chemical processes such as ammonia synthesis. In the CCU technologies carbon dioxide is directly recovered from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide captured in this way can be used in the production of construction and insulation materials, foam products used in mattresses, production of synthetic fuels such as ethanol and synthetic natural gas. In here, fossil raw materials are substituted with carbon dioxide. In another example, how can vodka and blue M&Ms help fight climate change? Actually it's really cool, carbon dioxide or CO2 is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms and lots of everyday materials are made of carbon or oxygen atoms or both. For example, a New York company called Air Company has found a way to make vodka by producing ethanol using the captured CO2 and water. They are also making hand sanitizer with captured CO2.
A company based in Markham, Ontario is doing something really innovative where they're using carbon dioxide direct capture from smoke to pump tanks full of algae who in turn use CO2 for their growth. and can later be processed into biofuels, bioplastics, nutraceuticals, and animal feed cosmetics, which is a food colorant that is used for many things including blue M&Ms. In Calgary, a company called Carbon Nova is building a facility to manufacture carbon nanofibers using CO2 from the air carbon nanofibers, a material that is lighter stronger and more flexible than steel it is currently used in everything from badminton rackets and bike frames to batteries and the sensors that sit beneath intersection. Another Calgary company, Clean02, is capturing carbon dioxide from building heating systems and turning it into soap. Calgary-based Expedition Air is selling all kinds of products online that are made from CO2 crayons planters and coasters to name a few. Carbon upcycling is taking captured CO2 and creating a concrete additive that makes cement 40% stronger. Another company named Ruby and Lululemon is making fabric out of CO2 using biological treatment to produce rayon-like durable and comfortable material. To conclude, CCU technologies are one step on the way towards a circular economy and can contribute to climate protection. CCU alone cannot resolve the challenge of climate change, but emissions, reductions are still our most important goal, but carbon dioxide utilization is a new piece in the climate protection puzzle and can make a valuable contribution.